The first topic that we are going to take up for discussion today is refractive index. Now refractive index is related to a phenomenon called refraction of light and you might have studied earlier that refraction of light is a phenomena that deals with bending of light. Let us look at a simple simulation that will help you recall the phenomenon of refraction that will take us to refractive index and then we will carry forward with the discussion on refractive index. Here is a simple simulation which is to do with refraction of light as I told you and Snell's law is the law that governs the refractive index, I mean the phenomenon of refraction of light. Here you see this is one medium, this is another medium and the light is going from rarer to denser medium as indicated by this button. This is the light ray hitting the interface here and it is going from rarer to denser medium. It should have gone along this dotted line and in the phenomenon of refraction we learned that light deviates from its initial path. So instead of going along the dotted line now the light ray goes along this path. So this is the refractive index of the first medium. We are going to spend more time understanding what refractive index is. This is the refractive index of the second medium. This is the angle of incidence in the first medium. You see that it is 30 degrees, but the angle of refraction in the second medium is not 30 degrees. It is 19.47. It means the ray has definitely deviated from its path. What happens if we increase the angle of incidence? What happens if we decrease the angle of incidence? Let us look at that first. So here you have the angle of incidence and this is the button that controls the angle of incidence. So if I increase the angle of incidence, I have made it now 40 and you see the deviation has also increased. Let us further increase it. Now it is 50. You see that the deviation has increased more. So the amount by which the light deviates from its initial path depends not only on the refractive indices but it also depends on the angle of incidence. That is yes, a very important parameter to be considered for your board exams and later on also when you study something more advanced in ray optics. As we increase the angle of incidence, make it very close to 90, so you see what happens here. I will hold it at about 89. It is almost grazing the interface. We say that the light ray is grazing the interface of the two media and there is a tremendous amount of refraction. But then when we are able to increase the angle of incidence and we see that the light is bending a lot, the next curious question is what happens if I decrease the angle of incidence? So let us do that also. Let us decrease the angle of incidence. I will quickly decrease the angle of incidence here and you are able to observe that the deviation is also decreasing. But we want to see what happens when the angle of incidence becomes zero. A 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Now there is no bending of light. So should we say that there is no refraction of light? Probably not. So now we have accumulated all the questions to be answered. Refraction is a phenomena that is governed by refractive index. Refractive index tells us how much the light bends but here the light is not bending at all. So is the refractive index definition restricted only to bending of light? Now let us go to the theory and try to address all these questions.